Hello, welcome to Microsoft Excel 2013. So today we're going to be having a look at using drop down lists and using drop down lists within an example of a receipt. We're also using the VLOOKUP function and the SUM function. However, today we're going to be concentrating on the drop down lists. If you want to find out how to use the other functions, check out those tutorials on our channel. So, let's have a look at how we insert a drop down list. What you do is you come over to the data tab at the top of the page. Then come over and click on data validation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to allow a list of values. You can type in a list of values, for example, one, comma, two, comma, three, and click OK. And this will let you select any of those values. However, if you try typing something different, like 56, I'll come up with this error message and tell you to retry. You can change this error message if you so choose by coming to data validation, error alert, and you can change the title of the message to say, say stop. This value isn't correct. Now if I try typing in a different value, it'll say stop. This value is incorrect. So that's how we change the error message. However, you can also change the error alert type. So you can just give someone a warning. This will mean that they can actually type in the value. And then it'll give them the option. It will warn them with your message. And then they can continue and leave that, that value in that cell. There's another way of inserting our drop down lists though. This is the way I prefer because this way you don't have to type it in and it also lets you change the values easily. So what we do is in the source we click this arrow icon and we select our list of values. Mine's called items because I've named this set of cells items. However, it will normally if I choose a different set of cells, like here, give you absolute referencing with that set of values. And now all you have to do is click OK. Now in this cell now, I have a drop down list, which is accepting any of them. To check, drop, drag down a drop down list, I advise you start on a blank one and drag it down to the bottom. Now, all of these cells have a drop down list within them. You can set drop down lists to reference their values from another tab as well. To do that, when you select your source, what you do is you go over to a separate tab and select your values again. And now, all you do is click OK. And now, we still have our drop down list. But now it's checking them from here. So for example, I just inserted calculator. If I changed calculator here to say um, Bob, this will now change this drop down list to say Bob and not calculator. As you can see. If you wanted to lock these cells so no one else can change them without a password, then there's ways of doing this, however we'll show you that on a separate tutorial. A link will appear for that on the screen. That's all we've got to show you for drop down lists. Uh, no it's not. If you want to remove a drop down list from a cell, click data validation, clear all, and click OK. And you'll no longer have a drop down list in the cell. That's all we've got to show you for data validation drop down lists in Microsoft Excel 2030. But make sure you check out our other tutorials. But for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.